Time for the next stage, so let's go on and take care of this ugly looking guy. Also known as Junkman. We saw his foot in the intro movie. You know, the one that took five minutes. I'm not gonna let that live down, game. It's pretty stupid. So Thunderbolt. Pretty much the most OP weapon of the game. It's basically, as I like to call it, the Storm Tornado. Once you get it, you don't want to get rid of it. Unless you need to actually use something different. There are some things you don't want to use Thunderbolt on. We'll cover those later. Lots of shinies. Welcome to the elevator game. Shoot all the Mets, win a shiny prize of... Well, you'll have to find out. Your prize is nothing! Ha! We just made you shoot all those Mets for nothing. Isn't that hilarious? Whoa! Almost forgot about you guys. Welcome to the other elevator room, where you can kill spines. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Up we go. Here's where my stop is, right up here. You get Rush Jet. You know, that thing from Mega Man 5 that we haven't used since then? Of course we don't. Rush Jet Adapter was so much better. Rush Jet from 3 was much better than that, so... Of course you don't remember that. For the Junk Snake to move on by. There we go. Just switch to Buster for a while and kind of running low on Thunder. Why can't I hold all this Thunder? Alright, what's next? You're next. Ooh. Gimme. No life. Oh boy, I can fight Junkman with no HP. My favorite time of day. Hi, Junkman! That's a good omen. simple pattern. Goodbye! It's a fun fight. <laughs> Let's say that. That doesn't look like a delicious fruit flavor that I'll enjoy. Duh, that's what a shield does, you know. Except the rotating part. 
that's also what a shield does, you know. So yeah, Junk Shield, typical barrier weapon. It does have some interesting uses, but otherwise, typical barrier weapon. So time to take down the final of the first four Robot Masters. Let's get going. Time to cool off and start on Freeze Man's Sli Yes, Freeze Man's Land. Sure. So Junk Shield. As stated, it creates a nice little barrier that basically does nothing else. Except for the fact that it's one of the first barriers that you can shoot. So, yeah. A, a neat shield weapon. But, just could have been better. Shortcut. Shield attackers make a return, so that's going to be an annoyance. One that I'd much prefer I didn't have to deal with. Refill some Thunderbolt, because it is awesome. And this is where I say, forget conventional means of transportation. Hi, Rush. Thank you, Rush. Thank you, me, for not sliding. Whatever, it worked. Heyo, that was impressive. A lot of rush use there. Because, you know, he doesn't get any luck. At least for me. Moving on. Have I used rush enough this episode? I don't think I have. We get Rush Surge. It's pretty useless. Granted, it has some uses, but those numbers are very limited. And I hate ice physics. Have I mentioned I love this weapon? I think I have at this point. Okay, you know what? Rush abuse, because I hate this jump. So let's go ahead and show what Rush Search does. Basically, in certain locations in the game, Rush will find hidden items. And he didn't find one. Go away. Reset the dog. He still didn't find anything. Okay. Do your job. We get the exit module. That took longer than me to. What the exit module does is, if I 
correctly switch back to my normal weapon. If you beat a stage, and then you go back to that stage for some reason, you can now leave for free. This is going to be useful very shortly. Specifically after Freeze Man is done smashing my face in. I hate Freeze Man. Hate you. Fine, you happy? I used a freaking E tank on you. Ah, okay. I hate this guy. Doesn't help my normal playstyle is tank hits all day. Die! Freaking freeze, man. Now oh, this won't be too bad, it's just freeze, man. <laughs> yeah, boy, was I wrong. <laughs> You'll be fine, you have two E tanks. Yeah, I used both of them on freeze, man. No, it doesn't. It's Shotgun Ice Mega Man. Get it right. It's not the Freeze Quacka. You get Shotgun Ice because that's basically what it is. It can be aimed up and down. And that's about it. I'm not going to hit the button to advance the screen because we get thrown into a stage instantly. So, be back shortly. So let's get moving on with the plot, plot, plot. Mashing the text buttons. Oh, but you can't advance the text. Good job, game. What do you think of my new best friend, Base? He's totally your best friend because he's stopping Dr. Wily, even though he was in prison for six months. He is our good friend. Oh no, some stupid building we shouldn't care about is under attack. Why do we care about this? Oh, because that stupid building is the robot museum of previous robot masters. Yeah, that's probably something we should care about. And now for what I feel is probably one of the worst songs in the game. Don't get me wrong. It's a good idea for a song to have a massive remix of a good number of songs, such as Gutsman, Snake Man, and Heat Man's theme, as heard in this. But this part is just so awful. Oh yeah, Freeze Cracker. Yep, it's shotgun ice. You can aim it up and down. Only when you initially fire, though. Get your explosives ready. Oh yeah, by the way, did I mention that this was filled with cameo appearances? There's plenty of cameo appearances in this level. So, what does the game give us to fight? A stupid clown. Obviously, you drop explosives on your clowns. Because they're stupid. Goodbye! Good job, Mega Man. Wily distracted you so that he could build four new robots. You should go stop them. Okay, Dr. Light. 
So you know what that means. Time for four new Robot Masters. Unfortunately, we got some backtracking to do. So let's go back over to Cloudman stage because there's something I want to show there. Remember this guy? Yeah, that weird thing that once I shot it, it started to rain. Up ahead, we'll meet another one of his kind. And since I'm here... Rush abuse for extra lives that I don't need. Freeze, cracker! It's now snowing. This is useful in the section with the invisible platforms, as now they're all covered in snow. Pretty neat, that. So that's it for uh, Cloudman stage, so let's head over to Junkman stage. Specifically, this room. Just after the mats, if you have Freeze Quacka, you can freeze lava. Pretty nice. But what's that have to do with anything? Well, you might have seen this ladder before. Being able to freeze lava, we can now go this way. For some super special awesome Russia power-up. We'll cover that shortly. I just want to finish freezing lava, because I can. Right. So... That super special awesome is the Super Adapter. Basically, it's the Power Adapter for Mega Man 6 and the Jet Adapter. Pretty awesome. Unfortunately, much like in Mega Man 6 with these, you can't slide. But you know, when you have the ability to throw your fist halfway across a screen at people, who cares? We're almost done with the split pass, so I might as well show the rest of it. So, yeah, I'm going to abuse the ever loving crap out of this. Punch. And we know where this goes. Or we should. So let's head on out and, you know, actually head to the stage select screen.